Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jimbo back for another cheap versus expensive. Today we're dealing with the almighty iron removers. Fancy new product that came out that I've actually, it, it's become a problem for me how much I've begun to like these things. And the problem is that they work really well and they're expensive, usually. But I found an alternative that I wanna test out today on this Toyota Avalon behind me. So. We have uh, Gion or Gion or however you want to pronounce it. Uh, their product called Iron. Uh, this was twenty dollars for this. I want to say it's sixteen ounces, uh, seventeen ounces, and it comes in a really nice fancy bottle. I already did the sniffy sniff test, and like most iron removers, this smells well. Garbage smells better than this product, but par for the course, right? And then. I have this Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner. Um, it doesn't say it's an iron remover, but if you read the label, um, it changes colors. In fact, that's one of the, the things that changes colors as it cleans. Uh, it comes in a big uh, 24 ounce bottle, so 17 ounce and 24 ounce. This bottle was $9, so you got more product. What is that? That's four, five, six, seven more ounces of product for less than half the price. This was 20 bucks. This was nine. Let's test it out on this Toyota Avalon. Two quick things I wanna mention. The Gion, or Gion, or however you wanna say it, uh, does say to pre-clean the rim. Let me just, uh, let me see here. Shake well, apply on a pre-washed surface. So uh, obviously, I'm sure if you watch videos and stuff like this, iron removers generally you can use on paint and rims. Uh, we predominantly see them used on rims. Um, as an in-between from a, a, an all-purpose cleaner and an acid, the iron removers have kind of taken that middle ground, which I think is, is good. They don't work quite as well as like a hydrofluoric acid. They're, most of them are pH neutral. This one says it is. Um, I'm not sure if this is pH, it also says it's pH neutral. So a lot of the iron removers are pH neutral. They're neutralized because they're an alkaline and an acid actually in one. That's why you get that crazy color change. Um, so both pH neutral, one on the higher end, you know, this is gonna, this is gonna be about as expensive as the Iron X, maybe Iron X is even a little bit more. This is cheap, nine bucks. It's about the cheapest iron remover I could find. So let's try it out on this Avalon. Uh, and I'm having dilemmas because this side is in the shade, the other side is in the sun. I'm gonna show you both the rims, but last time I did a video on iron removers, a guy gave me crap because I did a front rim and a back rim, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you guys in and show the before on the rims, and honestly, in my opinion, they're pretty identical, so let's get to spraying. Okay, okay now the Meguiar's actually specifically states on the back to not wash the rim first. It says, um, let's see, do not pre-rinse rims is the first bold uh, font in the direction. So unlike the Gion where it says a pre-washed surface, this, the Meguiar's actually says to not wash the surface. And in my experience using iron removers, um, it's actually more effective when the rim is not wet. So per the instructions, <clears throat> I'm not gonna use it. What I'm also gonna do, and this is where you can get yourself in trouble with iron removers, I'm actually going to spray this panel and I'm gonna spray the back panel pre-rinse. Now, obviously it'd be ideal, maybe not ideal. If you pre-rinse the surface, you're gonna have a diluted product. If you don't dilute the product, you're gonna risk streaking, but usually only on darker color cars. So in my experience using iron fallout removers, um, I really wanna see how the Meguiar's is gonna react on the paint, even though it's technically an all wheel cleaner. Um, I'm gonna use it on the rims, and I went back and forth on what, what rim to use, which one on, but honestly, they're equally as dirty. The back rim may even be a little bit thicker. Okay, I didn't do the sniffy sniff on this one, but as I spray it, I'm getting the iron smell, but it actually almost smells like nothing. A very pleasant smell, very, very good smell. Well. I don't wanna say very, very good smell. It's not a very, very good smell. But compared to iron removers, it's good. I'm gonna do a second coat on here. To me, initially, I've never used this product before. This is the first time I've used it. It's a little bit more foamy than traditional iron removers. That could just be the, 
That could just be the sprayer, to be honest. I don't know if it's the product itself or just the sprayer. All right, and let's see how long it takes to, uh, it's actually very pleasant to, to work with. I'm not gonna agitate at all. I'm simply going to, in fact, I'm gonna spray the rim, or I'm sorry, the tire, because the other iron removers I've used and sprayed on the tires, the tires actually turn brown. So I wanna see if that has any varying difference. Um, initially, it's in the slightest, slightest, slightest hue starting to turn purple and run, but not very much. I, I mean, we're, you know, probably under a minute. There looks like a little bit of purple right there. Uh, the paint is starting to, uh, I am starting to pick up a little bit of a purple on the paint, not a dramatic amount, like I would kind of expect. This car is not very well maintained. Um, and don't worry, it's actually my mom's car, so I'm gonna end up washing it and throwing a coat of wax on it for it anyway. So, um, it is starting to react on the paint and turn purple. Again, very foamy. Uh, that's that's my initial thing that I'm picking up on. Not very purple, especially, it's actually a lot less purple uh, than I expected uh, to be coming out of an iron remover. Those are the pictures that we traditionally see as a heavy, heavy purple. Um, but it is starting to, to remove these iron deposits. Um, the the, the Gion said to give it four minutes. Um, and so, we're gonna uh, we're gonna give this a couple more minutes to really dwell in there. It's starting to dry a little bit, which always I never really like it drying on the surface. It is very purple on the ground, so it might be an issue of there isn't that much iron contaminants in here. In fact, I'm gonna spray over here because it looks dirtier and see if I can get it to purple more. And there's a real bad dirty spot on the on the back side where I'm gonna use the Gion. So as, as we see it dwelling, um, again, not super purple on the rim, but uh, the paint is starting, to, is starting to become more purple. But again, not a very dramatic outcome. Let's uh, flip to the back. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse this wheel and we're gonna see how it turns out. Uh, it's actually more brown than, or black than anything. It looks like it's breaking down the brake dust. Not, not much on the, on the tire portion turning brown. A lot of purple on the ground, so I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards, we'll see how the Gion reacts, but initially I'm, I'm leaning towards that uh, there's just not a lot of iron particles in this rim, which was kind of my worry, and I'm gonna, I wanna do a couple more of these videos. Um, however, let's rinse it off and, and go from there. You can see the purple. Let's rinse it off. Okay, so the one thing I love about the iron removers, just in general, is that you can use it as a step before you clay, and it knocks out a lot of those yellow, black, gray dots in white color paint that you could see on all color paints. It actually makes the surface a lot smoother, cutting down your clay time. So really the objective is to get, uh, to use it often, right? Use an, use an iron remover often, but when they're 120 bucks a gallon or more, it becomes incredibly expensive. And then you could start rationalizing the thought of like, okay, well, is the added expense in product worth the labor savings? And my argument is yes. So, uh, but honestly, in my opinion, this Meguiar stuff did really well. I didn't get the 
the purple reaction like I was kind of hoping for, even though it did turn purple going down the driveway and on the driveway, which maybe leads me to believe there isn't a ton of iron on here. But honestly, did a great job. Not, I'm not dissatisfied in any uh, area, especially for a no touch. If I, maybe if I would have agitated it or something like that, I would have gotten more purple, but I really want to do a no touch option. So let's try the Gion, see if we could get the same result. Um, so let's go now to the back rim. Okay, now we're at the back rim, uh, Gion iron. I guess I should be taking my own advice and using gloves. I just forgot I'm not even wearing shoes. So, Gion Iron, again, this is double the price of Meguiar's spray. Smells horrible, and the rims are comparable. It did say to clean it first, but I don't want it to be diluted down. So I want to do as even of a test as possible. So, <laughs> stand back, baby. So it smells... It actually, it does not smell that bad. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna spray up on this panel. Let me switch the sprayer. Unlike the Meguiar's, it, was, it is not, uh, the smell's really not bad. There's actually a little uh, fruity smell coming through. Um, kind of the same result is happening. It's just dirt spilling out. Not really, uh, not really uh, any purple. So my conclusion on the front end with uh, with it being, maybe there's just not that much iron in this rim, leading me to want to do the paint work to see if it is removing iron. I think I sprayed about as much as I did on there, on the Meguiar's one. And I'm gonna go wash my hands as that reacts. Set that there. So we're a couple minutes in, an initial inspection is, stuff is really pulling stuff out of the paintwork. Uh, the rims, it's not super foamy like the Meguiar's one was. There is definitely some more purple coming out, but it's not overly purple, which could just be the car, to be honest, just not a lot of iron. Seems to be working really well on the paint. Um, not as foamy, which I don't think really has, makes a difference. It does seem like it's drying a little bit, which I, I'm not in, not in love with, but I'm not also sure that that's a bad thing, that it seems to be drying on the surface. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to spray it again because I almost sprayed it again, but I don't want to because I want it to be as even as possible as a comparison. So it uh, could be that it's the back of the car that's pulling out more iron. It could be that the product is better, um, but it's not a huge difference. Um, as far as the rims or tires are, are concerned, it does, it looks dry on the surface to me. It's not, we don't have active bleeding. Um, it does say to wait four minutes. Um, and, and a lot of it, my thought behind them saying to wash the surface first is that the product could be more concentrated. Therefore, you could get yourself in a little bit more trouble if you use it on a non-clean surface first. Um, I'm actually not even sure why that's on the label. So, but let's get going because this looks dry to me or like it's drying and I don't want it to dry on the surface. So let me wash it off and let's see the result. So according to the recording, we are right about four minutes in. So I feel confident now wiping it off. Right, so the Gion Iron, uh, again, it's very comparable to the Meguiar's, to be honest, in person uh, for a no-touch solution. Um, I wasn't in love with the fact that it, it seemed to dry a little bit, but the same purple pattern on the driveway is the same. The rim came out pretty good. I wanna do one more test and do the hood of this car since it's family car um, and I'm gonna be washing it anyway right now. I wanna do half the hood with Gion Iron and then half the hood with Meguiar's to see if there is any difference. So to me, the rims and the paintwork even look 
fairly comparable. I would say it, the Gion Iron did have a little bit more purple on the paintwork, um, which I, I'm just trying to think of objections as I go here. Um, people may say that that's because, you know, it's the rear of the car and more dust gets kicked up. I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. So let's do it on the hood. We're gonna do half Gion Iron, half Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner. Let's see which one works more. Okay, my uh, camera gig stick is uh, full, so I had to switch over to the iPhone. But you could see, it, it's really interesting to me the difference, how the products are reacting. The Gion is, whatever this is doing, sliding off. This is pitting and staying on. I, I don't know which is better, um, but you could see they're, they're just reacting differently. And maybe it is that foam. But you can see what I was talking about with the rims that it, it almost looks like it's drying, which it's probably starting to dry because it's on the it's we're out in the sun. So I'm going to remove it. But you could see the benefit to spraying an iron remover. All the purple stuff you're seeing is stuff that you would normally have to clay out. So a couple spritz and spraying is a lot easier than claying. So if you could do this to the whole car, you're going to get a you're going to get a really smooth, clean surface to to your prepping and getting a clean surface before you even clay. So pretty happy with both these. Let's get this rinsed off. Okay, sorry I'm back on the phone, but in conclusion, Gion Iron and Meguiar's wheel cleaner do just about the same job. If you disagree, I, I would like to hear the comments down below, good or bad. Uh, so post your comments below what products you used. And I love this whole cheap versus expensive video with the iron removers um, was a suggestion by you guys, the listeners. So comment below what cheap versus expensive products you'd like to see in future videos so I could get those out. Um, and so thanks for watching. Subscribe. Comment below. Really, let me know what products you would like to see compared to each other. But in conclusion, these products are virtually identical. Uh, I, I would say that the Gion is maybe a little more concentrated than the Meguiar's. Um, but yeah, that's my conclusion, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Talk to you soon. See ya.